So Don, I understand you have a really big announcement for everyone. You gonna put uh, out there? Yeah, you know we, we I've been grassroots running my own campaign for the last 20, 25 years. Uh, seven to eight times running for Congress. Uh, one time, well, first before that, I ran for city council in uh, city of Kent, lost by one by two votes. Uh, seven to eight times for Congress. Uh, after that opportunity to run for the U.S. Senate, came in third against Maria Cantwell. She's going to win again. She has my vote. Uh, and then after that selection, decided to run for mayor of Seattle and uh, was kind of excluded in that. See, I've always been a problem solver. So uh, trying to find a place to get in to fit in with all of the advisory stuff I've done over the 48 years in Washington state to elected officials nationwide and international, I ended up putting myself in a position to run for governor and was very successful. We just came back from Eastern Washington where uh, I know that there's percentage over there of 88% of the people that are Republican, but I have a lot of Republican friends too and voters. Uh, we did real good in Eastern Washington in 2020. So the tri-city areas. Uh, after doing that and coming in second in the Democratic Party, who really hasn't really acknowledged the fact that I did come in second, but it's down. You have to, you can look it up and see it. Uh, I've been a, uh, a change maker for 48 years. And so when I make statements, this time is running for governor. You don't come in second and then don't run again. So this time running for governor, I made a statement that I made in 2020 that homelessness is the most viable area of untapped positive resources. We've approached it the wrong way. You cannot approach homelessness in the area of looking at it for housing or we're going to have everybody housed. Well, you're just housing the problem. And it's like any animal, uh, they're going back to where there are problems because they're comfortable and they're not comfortable in your housing because your housing has been set up for opportunities to pay off those big donors that you've had on your campaign, uh, give jobs across the country to your different sororities or fraternities. And I I'm not wrong with, I don't understand, I don't have a problem with that, if that's what you want to do. But it's time for Washington State to have a clean sweep, a clean sweep without criminal anything involved in it, from money laundering to anything else. But one thing I've always learned before I make this announcement is I'm, I'm a person that don't have a problem forgiving people for their wrong, as long as you don't redo it, and that's become who you really say you are on the inside of you. We talked about that with Sammy Unseasoned Bird, the fact that he uh, was going to commit some other kind of situation because of the situation he's done before, and I'd be darned if he didn't, because that's in his DNA. So what I'm simply saying to, is this, is when I made that statement, philanthropers, million and billionaires were listening. One Philanthropist really heard this statement, and his name is Sean Ridley of the Ridley Investment Group, and he gave me a phone call. We had an hour and a half talk. He says, Don, I'd like to uh, support your campaign and be your major support for your campaign, which others will come, but I'd like to donate to you an opportunity and offer you through this. $800 million to eradicate homelessness in Washington state, because I believe what you're saying, it is destroying our economy. And after listening to your program, not the, I hate program, listening to what you forced the, of, of looking at it, how you want to accomplish this goal. He said, I believe we can create a model and take it to all 49 states and be in all 50 states. And he, he allowed me to say, uh, to understand that he was the brother of uh, President Joe Biden's former campaign uh, when he was the godfather of the Senate and uh, gave me some strong backing of saying, now on top of the 800 million, 800 million uh, I have another donation that comes in and it's 150 mil of one of my sister groups 
So that's $950 million that was offered to eradicate homelessness in Washington State. Um, and I put a program together with my team. You may not like the name eradicate. You may want to go eliminate. You may, you may want to go get rid of. So we said we'll do a little contest where you can call a website. I mean, uh, look up the website, votedonnellriversforgovernor.com, and you can go to the comment section and register yourself, give a donation, $50, $100, $1,500, to up to the $2,500, your company and yourself, and you can get involved in this by saying, here, here's the name I think it needs to be. Because people would like to have involvement because it's one of our major issues. So from the involvement of it, we will select the name, and that's what it will be called if you don't want it to be eradicate homelessness. The situation of homelessness is deboggled. It's, it's inflexed with issues all the way back from slavery. It encompasses over the 40 acres in the mule. It's deeper than that. So there, there is rest, uh, restoration, and then there's situations of what they call you get what you gave. So when you oppress people, when you cause people to uh, do things that are, are damnable or that are not their character, and they end up having to live in an economy, in a society that way, we end up ending to homelessness. Now it's turning to where it's affecting the philanthropers and the million and billionaires because they can't make a profit. If you have money, you can't sit on money. You have to allow that money to make money. So there's a whole group of philanthropers and others that are willing to invest to correct this problem. And I was sent to... Um, Las Vegas to speak to 150 philanthropers and billion, million and billionaires. And the statement I told them was the same. You don't control this economy. You have a 5% to 15% fluctuation point of stableness that you tell your, your economy and your consumers that we're okay. You're lying. We're not okay. We're struggling and we're barely making it. And we're about, and, and see, the, the upper top 1% is about to lose this country if we don't correct it. I believe personally becoming governor gives me the opportunity to bring in between 12.5% between to 15% more new revenue. Because the only way we get taxes to go down or taxes to stabilize is we get new revenue to come in and create new opportunities. So I've got one billion already now. So we only got 14 more to go. And that's before coming governor. Once we get to be governor, I know how to talk to philanthropists. I know what they're looking for. I was brought up in that area. I just decided not to end up in it. So the, the announcement is the fact that we have received the offer of $950 million to eradicate homelessness in Washington state. And I'm going to wait for you to ask me what we're going to do. <laughs> 